Morning, guys. Yeah. This morning we are at the emergency room with Gracie. Gracie got a cold on what is today? Saturday. She got a cold Thursday night. Um, yesterday she was fine during the day. Last night she did not sleep well. She was sucking a lot. Um, she needed help with her breathing. She needed breathing support. So early this morning, because she was sat in, she was going down to the high 70s and she was reaching the highest she reached was the low 90s. So, and she was working to breathe a lot. So we decided to take her in and we are here. Um, they've given a, um, a few rounds of Ventolin and that has helped her a lot with her breathing but she still needs oxygen support as you can see she has a nasal phone on i do not think that gracie will be going home today i think they will keep her maybe they will keep her for a day or two but we'll see we've done some tests we've done a swab um they've done um x-ray to check to see if she has pneumonia so far they don't think she has pneumonia i do not think that she has pneumonia yeah, but they need the radiologist to um look at the image and then they will confirm yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. you want your hold on let's try the water first So she started to cough. She started to cough this morning. Do you know what that? No? She started to cough this morning. Are you gonna take it? You can help yourself. Help yourself. Guys, we spent over 12 hours in the emergency room with Gracie. It was tough. It was really tough. Don't give up. No, don't give in. Never lose hope. Don't let go of the promise. It ain't done yet. He's got a plan. Watch him right down. You child, you're putting up a fight. Oh, you're stronger than you think you are. Good morning, guys. This morning, we are in a hospital room. This is my feeling so great. I was hoping that she would wake up better this morning, but it seems like she did not really get her ventil in, but she was fighting so much. So Today I'm gonna to make sure I give it to her so she can really get the two dogs. But this child, he has gone through too much. But God is good, God has kept her, God has been keeping her, and I am grateful. So guys, Gracie had an IV on this hand that was not working anymore. And the next morning when we woke up, when the nurse was checking her, we realized that the ivy was not working, her hand was swollen. It was like three times the size of the other hand. You will see the comparison pretty soon. And guys, that just broke my heart to see that, thinking how much pain Gracie probably have gone through and we never saw that. Look at the, the other hand that didn't have the ivy and the hand that had the ivy. So it was pretty significant, the size the palm was very hard 
and the top was very very soft it was it was deep when i pressed it in but the nurse we had was so remarkable she was so outstanding so professional and she was just this caring loving energetic person that's the person you would want to have around you every single day she was so professional and so good at her job and you could see that she loved what she was doing she just loved her work and i thank god for this person that nurse who was taking care of gracie she was just amazing i just want to say thank you cats thank you so much for all you did for gracie to make her stay um as pleasant as possible and to help me through it you are an amazing nurse and i pray that you continue to care for your patients just the same you are amazing thank you Yay. Okay, 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 okay. Here, as Bye. you can see, Gracie is feeling much better. She's off the high flow. Gracie did not even need any other intervention after the high flow. She was doing well, and she was on the way to being discharged the following day. So I give God all the thanks, all the praise for Gracie recovering and recovering so fast after everything she had gone through. I am really oh, grateful nice. and I am so thankful to all the people who have been praying for Gracie, um, my family, the, my church family, and all the people who have been praying for Gracie. I just want to say thank you all so very much. Even you guys, those of you who have been praying, I just want to say thank you so much. Your prayer means so much to us and your support and your love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you who have been wondering what was wrong with Gracie, Gracie got the rhinovirus and yeah every time she gets it she ends up in the hospital don't give up no don't give